Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I'm back with another 15 minute mix challenge video, this time featuring the plugins found in the Manny Marroquin signature series by Waves. Now this bundle has six plugins, we've got the Delay, Distortion, EQ, Reverb, Tone Shaper, and Triple D. The song I'm going to be working on is called City of This, it was done by a good friend of mine called Sam Marlowe, and we did this about five years ago. Fairly straightforward lineup. we've got bass guitar, acoustic guitar, piano, a little bit of synth, string arrangement, lead vocal, backing vocal, a little bit of electric guitar, and two sets of drum kits sharing a kick drum set out in a rather interesting way that you'll hear in a minute. So first I'm going to play through the song so you can hear what we've got to work with, and then I'm going to start that clock and get mixing. Cold won't tear me away I will be here till the end of my days no, I won't and I mustn't complain Cause it's wonderful Standing here on holy ground Listening to the city with all its sounds There couldn't be a place that could ever be found Okay, in the second verse and second chorus follow in the same fashion. Now I've got a static mix going here and I've inserted the plugins where I think they're going to work best. So let's start that timer and see what we can get done in 15 minutes. Let's look at the kick and the drums to start with. And as I said, they are rather interesting because we've got a kick drum up the middle and two drum kits. One that's panned to the left, not hard left, sort of between centre and left, and another pan to the right again, sort of, you know, off to the centre. If I get rid of the kick drum, you can hear that hi-hat snare. Two very different types of kit. Works quite well. Let's put the kick back in with the bass and the acoustic. Okay, I'd say that kick drum needs a little bit more boom and a little bit more space to it because it's really simple, but I just want it to be like a heartbeat through the song. So let's start with the EQ and focus in on just the kick drum. Right, there's a little bit of a hiss on it and I don't really like that. And it's got a bit of a, a click in it. So let's use the low pass just to focus the bottom ends. Let's maybe bring out 200 hertz in this band. Sounds more like it. Before, a bit too bright, much better. Right, now let's get some space going with this. So let's use the reverb. Out of the box, not sure. So I want to keep that sub rumble in it. So let's uh, muck about with the EQ. Let's bring the highs down and the mids. Maybe bring out the lows a touch more. Let's hear that in context with the drums. Maybe bring the time down a bit. Sounds about right. Let's try a chamber. Ooh. I like that. It's got a it's got a better character. Let's put the bass in, make sure it's not getting in the way. 
and the guitar, why not? Sounds good, let's do uh, a B. And off. Nah, I don't like that. Yeah, that feels more like that heartbeat that I was after. Now let's have a look at those drums, left and right. So let's look at the left first. I'm gonna go for some distortion, just something to give it a little bit of character. Yeah, let's increase the drive. Bring the output down a little bit. Yeah, just a subtle amount. A, B. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Just a little bit of grit. Now, I'm going to use that. I'm just going to copy and paste that to the other drum, the one on the right-hand side. And let's have a little listen and do an A, B. And before. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Again, with the bass and the guitar. Okay, now let's look at that bass guitar. It's getting lost a little bit with those drums. So, EQ first, and I'm gonna apply a similar principle to what I did with the kick drum. I'm just gonna roll off the top end a little bit because I want it to be a subtle bass line, something with a bit of sub in it, nothing too present. Yeah, sounds nice. Now, let's try and use a little bit of this. This is the Tone Shaper, and it's a four-band parallel processor. As you can see, we've got low, low mids, high mids, and high. And what I'm gonna do for this is link them. So click, shift click, each of these processes, and bring them in. So it's kind of like it's compressing or parallel compressing each band equally. So let's just try this and see where we go. Bring the output down a bit. Before. Yeah, it's subtle, it's subtle, but it's just tying it together. Now the acoustic guitar, the main thrust of the song. Let's see what we can do with this. Again, EQ, gonna keep it simple. High pass, so low cut. Yeah, it's nice there, maybe a little bit off the top as well. It's a bit bright. Yeah, sounds about right, let's A-B that. Yeah, just lightens it out a little bit, it's nice. But I've gotta make sure that the beginning of the song, it doesn't sound too thin, because at the beginning of the song, it's just the acoustic guitar and vocals. Let's just quickly test that. Bypass. Yeah, there's a bit of rumble. Much better, it's done a good job. Now let's move across to the piano next, as that comes in when the drums come in. And I'm gonna use the EQ again. Again, let's just keep this simple. Let's just cut some of the lows. might actually bring out a little bit of the top end. Yeah, that works for me. It's only a subtle part. Now there's a little bit of electric guitar in here. It's again, very, very subtle. Let's see if we can do something interesting with it. Now this was recorded with delay. And I think it just needs a little bit more space. So again, let's use the reverb. 
and let's see if we can make this sound a little bit more interesting. Now it's got this little phaser control down here. And distortion. And these are interesting. And we've got a little dry wet control for this as well, for just this section. Let me back it off a little bit. Let's hear that with the other instruments and minus the drums to see how that sounds. Bring the rate down. Back off the distortion. Maybe back off the reverb just a touch. Just so we get a little bit more of the attack through. Yeah, sounds nice. Sounds nice. Let's stick with that. Let's have a little listen to the strings with the other instruments. And with the rest of it. No, they sound nice. I'm going to keep them as they are. Sound great. So let's move across now to the vocals. Just the lead vocal. Okay, great vocal, but it's a little bit sibilant. So I'm going to use this, the triple D, to try and get rid of some of that. Now there's a de esser control here, a de harsher, and a de boxy. Each of these controls do different things to help us set our tracks in a mix. So de boxy is good for low end stuff, de harsher is for the kind of stuff that you know it hurts your ears to hear. And we've got the de esser that I'm going to be using now. So let's use this de esser doll here to try and back off that sibilance a little bit. It's better than this. This is how much of the process you want. It's better than and this. here we can choose the frequency. And oh, we'll take this message home. Never beat. Right, and we can actually monitor as well what's happening. You can hear that. We could bypass it if you wanted to. I'd say it's about there. Let's put it back in the mix. It's better than this. It's better than this. And oh, we'll take this message home. Much, much better. And again, I'm just going to apply that process to the backing vocal and jump onto the tone shaper just to kind of compress this overall. Again, I'm just gonna use my trick of highlighting each of these with the shift key and increasing the process. It's better than this. It's better than this. And oh, we'll take this message home. Bypass. Okay, back off the output. Much better. Right, let's get some space around this vocal. It sounds a little bit lonely at the top there. So, on this stereo aux, I've got the delay and a reverb. I'm going to feed the delay into the reverb. Let's start with the delay. Increase the bus a little bit so we've got some signal going it's into better it. Than this. Okay. It's better than let's try a preset. And oh, we'll take this message home. That's nice. Right, let's use a high pass. To back the energy off a little bit. You know what, this has already got a reverb built in. Let's point that out. So we've got distortion, reverb, doubler, and phaser with some extra controls next to the dials, which is nice. So I'm actually going to turn the reverb off here because I want to use the reverb plugin to feed this delay into. Uh, but let's try with this distortion and doubler effect. See, uh, let's see what that can do. It's better than this and oh, we'll 
take this message home. Right, let's hear that in the mix. Oh, that's nice. Now, I could set the left to be a different division and the right as well to give more stereo, but I quite like that delay being right up the middle, sort of sitting on top of the kick drum. Now, let's feed that into a reverb that's after that in the chain, and let's see what we can do. It's better than this. Put in solo. It's better than this. And oh, we'll take this message home. And before? Oh, I do like that distortion on the delay, that's nice. But yeah, the reverb here is just helping to soften the transient of those delays, but not taking them away completely. Let's put it in the mix and hear what level we can set that to help that vocal. Put the backing vocal in. Okay, stop the clock, I think we're there. Sounds great. So let's go from the top of the song with these on and I'm going to move some faders around just to finish this off a little bit. Cold won't tear me away I will be here till the end of my days No, I won't and I mustn't complain Cause it's wonderful Standing here on holy ground into the city with all its sounds There couldn't be a place that could ever be found It's better than this It's better than this And oh, we'll take this message home You know what, I've got to say that these plugins actually have quite a lot of scope in them. When I first looked at them, I thought, oh, they look a little bit simple, but you know what? These add a lot of depth to audio. I mean, just this reverb unit, it's great to have these distortion phaser controls in there. Same with this delay, it just sounds amazing. And this could possibly replace H delay in my workflow, and that is saying a lot, as I've used that for years. Anyway, hope you guys got something from that. Let us know your thoughts on the Manny Marroquin signature series by Waves in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Source Expert, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.